Hey everyone, Technomancer here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your eSIM and activate your iPhone 16 Pro Max for the very first time. So let's get started. So here I have iPhone 16 Pro Max, brand new out of the box, right? First thing is you want to go ahead and turn this device on. In order to power it on, you'll see there's a big side button. We're going to press and hold until we see the Apple logo appear on the screen. So as you can see here, it takes a moment or so. And sometimes if that's not working for you, it might be because it needs to be charged. So go ahead and charge it up. But we're going to go ahead and power it on during this process. And if your phone, again, shows up with the Apple logo, that's good. You're going to see hello screen. And to get started, simply swipe up. And then once you do that, you're going to see the ability to select a language. So you're going to select your language, your country and region. From there on, the appearance. So if you want the text, and the size of the screen to be bigger, pick your preference. I'm just gonna leave it as default, so I'm gonna hit continue. And from there on, it's gonna ask you to do a quick setup. Now, this is a process, if you have a device that you wanna transfer things over, you can bring it close to it and set it up. Or if not, you can go forward with this process. And from there on, it's gonna start by asking you to connect to your Wi-Fi in order to uh, go ahead and set this up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Select my Wi-Fi, enter the password. And once you enter your Wi-Fi password, simply click on join and then go ahead and get connected. That's gonna say it may take a few minutes to activate, but generally this is pretty quick, basically making sure with the Apple server that this phone and the hardware is what identifies it and it's activated on their server. So I'm gonna give it a moment and then you're gonna get data and privacy. You can read through this. I'm just gonna continue here. Now you can set this up for yourself or a child. I'm just gonna click on myself. Face ID, you wanna set this up so you can use it to unlock, use Apple Pay and make purchases and subscribe to other services for the sake of our video. If you hit continue, it's just gonna scan your face, but I'm just gonna skip that. You can only set that up later. Passcode, you wanna make sure you enter, uh, put a passcode for your iPhone. You can do a six digit or you can select uh, another option like a four digit one or alphanumerical whatever you choose and you can always choose not to have one I'm just gonna do that just for the sake of the video but highly highly recommend you of course set this up and then from there on it's gonna ask you if you like to back up it from another device so if you want another iPhone and you might have iCloud backup you can restore from that if you have another iPhone near you you can actually bring it close and you can set it up from there if you have a backup from your computer, such as iTunes, you can also do it. And you can also do it from Android by using Move to iOS app. If you're, familiar, if you're not familiar with any of these steps, I'm going to leave some link on how to do the transfer if you want to move things over, such as your, app, your data from existing phone. But if you want to completely set up a new phone, you would select Don't Share Anything. From there on, with iPhone, you need to create or sign into existing Apple ID in order to do things like download apps or use any Apple services like iMessage, FaceTime, and all of that stuff. So go ahead and create or sign into one. And you can always simply skip this stuff. You don't want to do it now and do it later in the setting, which I'm going to select. But as you can see here, you can create a free account, or if you forgot your password, you can always reset it. I'm just going to click on setup later just for the sake of the video here. Of course, you do need it for you to use Apple services. And then I'm gonna hit agree here to the terms and condition. And then if you want your phone to I'll be automatically updated, you can hit continue. So we're gonna hit continue here. iMessage and FaceTime, if you wanna use that, which comes part of the iOS ecosystem, you're just gonna hit continue. If you're on location services, of course, you wanna make sure that is turned on. And then this is the part where you set up your eSIM card. Now there's two primary ways to set it up. So if you have an existing iPhone near you that you wanna move your uh, eSIM from you can actually transfer it by clicking on the first option right here and what will happen is it's gonna ask you on your other phone if you want to transfer your number over remember when you transfer your number over it's gonna remove that eSIM card and add it to here basically deactivate it on this phone that's gonna be one option that you have and that's gonna be the easiest way to transfer or activate your eSIM card now another way it's gonna be using a QR code now this QR code you get from your phone service provider. If you let them know you are activating your device, they should send you an email or give it to you or in store. Basically all you do is take that and scan it 
Yeah, I'm going to try to scan it, but this code is an invalid code, so it might not work, but you'll get, a, of course, you'll hit continue and it'll work for you if you have an active SIM card that you can activate and that will activate your phone service. So if you don't have this, just contact your phone carrier, the company, and they should provide you that. Now, once you have that, you can scan it or use the other method. So I'm going to hit continue here to go back. And then from there on, it's going to add your service. Screen time is basically a report of how much time you're spending on it. You can hit continue here. And then iPhone analytics, if you want to share with Apple, you can hit share. I usually don't, but that's personal preference. And then, of course, light, dark mode, however, you, what's your preference on the display? I usually leave it as light or auto if you want it to go dark during sunset and light during sunrise. We'll hit continue here. Silent mode with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. If you're not used to it, the silent up button would could be this action button, or you can pull down the control menu and put it in silent mode. So those are going to be two different options. We'll hit continue here. And finally, you can customize your action button. By default, it's going to be the silent, or if you don't want a silent, you can always customize it to one of these options like flashlight, you can see memo and translate, a bunch of options available, or you can simply choose it not to do anything. I'm just going to leave it as the silent mode just to keep it simple here. And then the camera control is this new control that's available on the iPhone 16 Pro Max that's right here that allows you to activate your camera. This is what this is saying here. So we hit continue. You can see here we can activate that to automatically access our camera just by giving it press. So hit continue. Siri, you want to set Siri up so you can use it. Of course, I'm just going to do it later in the setting. It'll basically ask for a couple commands that you can speak to. Emergency SOS, we'll just hit continue and welcome to our iPhone. And now our iPhone has been set up ready to go. I'm getting this pop up because I didn't successfully set up eSIM. But of course, the way I mentioned it, it's just bring your iPhone, transfer it over or use your QR code. Now, if you set it up without setting up eSIM and you got to this step, you can always come back here into your settings and of course, sign into your Apple ID. If you haven't, you can do that or create one. And you can always come back over here to cellular to set up your cellular or mobile service by hitting that. And that same exact prompt we saw earlier will come up. So that will give you the ability to set up and activate your eSIM card and your phone on iPhone 16 Pro Max. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.